We're talking about Herkin Biological Insecticide. It's a new mode of action for Corteva and really excited about its control with corn earworm, the Helicoverpi species. It's a naturally occurring virus that is really geared at only that species of corn earworm or Helicoverpi species. It will not affect any of our beneficial in insects out there. Herkin will be really geared towards the soybean acre, the sorghum acre, a little bit into the corn acres across the, the Midwest. We want to make that application at that L3 range or smaller of corn earworm. And we'll see over the next three to seven days that corn earworm really kind of shrivel up. And then if we look at some of the larger corn earworm, they may make it through, but, but it'll be sick the rest of its life. It's not going to eat near as much. It's not going to cause near as much damage. When that bug goes to turn into a moth and lay eggs, it will actually continuously spread within the offspring. Herkin is a very, very good viral strain that can actually be tank wicks with the majority of common herbicides, fungicides, insecticides. We want to keep it above 5 pH, keep it below 8 pH. There's a handful of products that we don't want to tank mix with copper sulfates and some of the, the heavy metals. It's applied foliar with typically a fungicide or another insecticide. Herkin does need to be stored frozen or at least below 40 degrees. If we keep it below 77 degrees, we'll get roughly a month shelf life out of it. If we keep it below 40 degrees, we'll be able to get about a two year shelf life out of it. And if we keep it frozen, we'll be able to get about a three year shelf life out of it. Herkin will work very well with an integrated pest management system, utilizing a new mode of action and a different mode of action than the majority of growers are using today. It'll fit very well with our traditional chemistries of Intrepid, Intrepid Edge, and a, a number of other insecticides throughout the marketplace.